lot of them are affected by black magic. Now, uh, most of them don't believe in the word black magic until they are affected by it. They call me and say, I never knew there's something called black magic. I only believed in the gods and I only believed in their divine energy. But when, when they are affected by Shatru Bhada, we say, like, you know, having enemies, you have your sixth house lord in the chart trying to play foul with the other planets, which really causes devastating effects on your life. Your relationships are affected, your finances are affected, your business is affected, your profession is affected, most of all your health gets affected, your name and fame is affected, your efficiency goes zero and sometimes even to minus. It can even take you to levels of committing suicide Correct. and mm. uh, you know, uh, Preta has come and enter you and you know, uh, you are affected, your family is affected and everybody around you is affected. Lot of negative energies are inflicted upon you uh, so that you are not growing and the others grow. So they use tantric ways of doing all these things which can really, really, really damage you, uh, your life. And you know, the, the reversing the whole thing is a very, very difficult process which requires a lot of expertise. Tantric talismans will help you to a great extent to reverse this whole process, get you the right kind of tantric specialists who can actually remove the black magic in their own way, whether it's through havans or other kind of, uh, you know, spiritual activities. But we have the Varaha talisman again, which is very, very good in terms of reversing the uh, tantric attacks, preventing further attacks from happening. Mm. One of my clients who was actually, I mean, suffering from this black magic attack had her mother, you know, suffer from ill health all the parents are doctors and had her uh, sister younger sister suffer because of black magic again where you know she was not ready to study give her exams and she was doing her mbbs and you know not ready to do the exams a lot of lot of activities we had to do to get her out of the uh, the mess of black magic because you know every time she has to give her MBBS final exam or semester exams uh, she would say I, I don't want to give I want to commit suicide and you know I'm under pressure and lot of things but it's actually the preta which was working in her and their negative energies uh, because of the black magic attacks caused on their family. So a lot of these things were reversed and then uh, it has come to a stage where it's kind of stable now. But at this stage of stability, you know, buying a talisman and wearing it can really protect you so that you can, you know, prevent further attacks, you know, from happening. Since uh, Swati is very passionate about this uh, subject of black magic and he's doing his own research and, you know, he can talk to energies actually and he can see spirits happening maybe he can narrate one or two instances of what happened in his uh, house in hyderabad long back uh, like where he could see the play of uh, spirits he, you know you will be able to understand you know to what extent these energies can create havoc or you know make their presence felt but again you know even in the, those instances the varaha talisman really can help you in terms of closing your eyes on the negative energy so that you don't get to see that side because that dimension is kind of a scary dimension not everybody has courage or guts to see spirits and yeah. energies. So even have access to it. So it's yeah, or they don't even have access to it exactly. <coughs> so Swati, tell me exactly what happened in your Hyderabad house. Yeah, <laughs> that was fantastic experience. So Only so you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, from the young age, I was very inclined towards this occult, magic, divine science. It can be white magic or black magic. I mean, just to get to know it, it there's nothing wrong in it, right? So un unless you get to know, Correct. you will not understand and, uh, you know, and unlink the dots. So, knowledge is wealth. So, uh, I had this specific interest, you know, of entities above other dimensions and gods and, and karma and, and, the, and the whole lot of thing. So, that experience in Hyderabad, I should also thank that experience and the great spirit there because that what stirred up my interest more into this and I have come up to this level spiritually, a little bit of knowledge what I have got you know, because of that. So, that was like a trigger point. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Hyderabad, yeah, the house we stayed uh, was in Jubilee Hills, I guess, and it was a fantastic house. And, uh, you know, because uh, I was a clairvoyant or, uh, uh, you know, or, or, or more, uh, more at a psyche level, I'm able to feel the spirits or, you know, uh, or different entities uh, from other realm. So, um, and then I ignored it because we don't know it's a gift or a curse because correct, it's correct. very scary. It's very scary. I mean, it sends chills up your spine. So, you know, and then we moved into the house and I was not at all thinking about this because I had no expectation I'm going to see a, a spirit as a visitor. So, and then we moved in and, uh, but I know something was not right, but nothing scary. But I, 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 I rather felt there was, uh, you know, somebody else 
in that house in my house along with me you know oh and, and you know so you keep watching tv and suddenly out of the corner of the eye somebody a shadow just moves off and then you know things gets misplaced and for which we can have a scientific explanation telling you know you could have kept it there last uh, night or today but but i you know purposely kept something there next day it will not be there mm-hmm. for one week it will not be there again eighth day it will be there my god it's, it's it's super super scary at the same time very exciting also it's like movie conjuring movie correct uh, live movie so and then the tv used to switch on by itself in the night so <laughs> i thought oh maybe power power fluctuation i wanted to debunk and try to get a scientific explanation of everything so that will keep me calm you know though i know it's a play of the other entities but then uh, <clears throat> uh that night i switched off the tv i pulled the plug out of the you know the the holes and then i went to sleep it's even then it around 2 2:30 the tv got switched on that's when i know i was confirmed okay definitely this is a play of uh, you know uh, a spirit but i i i think that spirit was more playful spirit it was not very harmful at not all not evil in any way correct you know and then uh, i spoke to my sister who is also a very uh, you know a top level reiki master and a clairvoyant so she can she is able to she has the capacity to communicate with spirits okay and then make them understand because they talk in a different level or they don't talk like humans or it's at all through mind telepathy you visualize something thinking of them that will reach them like a dialogue so she is very good at that she is naturally gifted so and then she said uh, she spoke to it and then uh, she told me nothing to worry it's a old grandfather's spirit Mm. who used to live there long back and after that many generations had come here and probably you know he was uh, he, he died there in that place uh, maybe before 70 80 years after which many people came in <laughs> so and then she said i'll i've helped him to pass on so uh, i think the night she said and after that we didn't have any problem you know we suddenly felt a dark cloud out of the house you know because i have my kid and uh, they didn't home anybody so that way i was a little happy okay it's a good spirit let's coexist don't harm us <laughs> no, we will not harm you that yeah. kind of thing but that was uh, an unbelievable experience you know for any non believer including me everybody is skeptic right so yeah. we humans we think what we what we see is real correct there are so many things nature has you know a limited our senses so we have to understand there is so much more than what you know more than uh, the eye meets so mm-hmm. the different dimensions you can only see them through a third eye which is through meditation what what else is meditation many people think just praying and asking for something that's not meditation meditation is knowing yourself and knowing beyond the death beyond the grave correct beyond the darkness right that is what we call third eye is in the mind's eye which you can open only through very deep meditation and all the other dimensions you'll be able to see not with these two eyes only with this eye. Third eye so that is third eye actually so uh, the main chakra so through which you can see my sister has it open so she had a lot of pain the engage and naturally she's gifted so she can if she goes to a place if if it's a haunted place she can catch them like a police <laughs> you know she immediately says swati i see uh, some other person here you know that that spirit is crying it, it is in so much distress and pain because many will be suicided or killed or murdered so those spirits you know will will still haunt that place uh, waiting to take revenge and then there'll be so much of uh, you know uh, anger and uh, vengeful mind and crying so this is a big big topic Absolutely. it's unbelievable so yeah. that experience in hyderabad was really fantastic and you know after that spirit left and then i started studying more into spirits <laughs> and, and, and then i realized we are spirits yeah. as simple right? right so we without this physical body or container we are spirits Spirit. as simple as that but then when we go to that level after death a different dimension so our thoughts and our uh, many things change so which we cannot Uh, you know find out until we die so <laughs> <laughs> so but but still i'm trying to get answers to lot of other uh, you know uh, possible questions uh, and this journey is fantastic and till then we need the protection of the varaha talisman to absolutely. protect us from other spirits absolutely at the time i didn't know you so you know maybe 2014 or something is when when i came into contact with you and this happened in 2008 9 right so and then when i moved to when i contacted you i was also uh, uh, in hyderabad but a different house <clears throat> right i think it was in miyapur mm-hmm. uh, chandanagar in in hyderabad so then that house it was fantastic no problem with it it's a big township but still i wanted a production and then uh, after we spoke to each other i think i bought that varaha talisman and as such i am a great devotee of lord venkateshwara so varaha being is out there i would love to have it and it's very 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 powerful varaha is not just for production trust me it will it 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 will chase anybody who's possessed who they feel they are possessed and then they are doing a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, very uh, lot of problematic things Correct. and then it will also 
uh, protect them from the future attacks it increases your wealth also i'm sorry the luck factor also which is also what uh, some of the friends i've referred to have told me protection from black magic protection from negative energy drishti and then it also increases your luck factor in fact many people have bought it uh, you know to sell their lands and all correct varahai right obviously yeah so they're like correct. you know we want to sell our land we're not able correct. to do it so many times evil spirits actually even uh, get their grip on these lands because they would have had attachment correct, correct. they'll want they don't want others to take control of that they, they still think they're living there point yeah correct that's true yeah so varaha talisman really helps you in uh, even selling these kind of lands which are haunted mm. sometimes people would have committed suicide in a house and they don't know what to do hoteliers correct. have bought it <laughs> <laughs> when in some hotel rooms and all when you see people coming Correct. in suicide yeah, they don't know yeah. how to go about Correct. it Correct. they are so attached to that place and will not leave doctors have because a lot of uh, mortuary and other things right Correct. in the hospitals Correct. so negative energies uh, that can be cleared because of uh, the varaha talisman varaha talisman has had immense benefits it's amazing if if you just want to focus on the uh, you know the just the spirit part alone you no know, you want to get rid of a spirit in your body <clears throat> or you know they call it black magic voodoo well, so many things different forms of black magic you know where uh, they conjure a spirit and then let it on the target so for which if the goal is only that then the, the i think your kali talisman will work wonder but then if people want some additional benefit of you know uh, from future attacks also and then a little bit of luck also on the way in their life so i think varai is fantastic in fact i want to narrate one instance <coughs> where, uh, where i was driving and there was no need uh, and i had already parked actually i had reached a point my park that i was taking my uh, friends to some temple okay near kolar so what really happened was i had parked the car there is no reason for any any stone to hit the yeah. the tail lamp so yeah. it just hit the one stone from nowhere just fell and it broke and i realized that time we were handling some case of black magic and we were pre- prescribing some remedies so till the remedy is completed everybody else is at risk who is trying to help because correct, the spirit correct. is trying to stop you also from helping absolutely so and i i was like what is happening and unusual things happened suddenly in the house also the photo just broke mm. god's photo just broke correct correct yeah, and yeah, uh, mm, <laughs> and the oil oil drop i mean you know it's like you know where very unusual things happen weird things happen something that has never happened happen you can understand that okay it's all paranormal it's not like what used to happen before <laughs> so then i was like okay what case are we working on whom am i helping so then i realized okay this is what it is correct so it's yeah it's like uh, for black magic i think uh, the people who are trying to save the target are equally in danger exactly equally in danger and you know lot more more in danger actually right so that is when i got my varaha talisman <laughs> i was like oh better i need it first <laughs> you first sanitize your hands then work on others <laughs> yeah it's like that so i mean black magic is something that is like the damages it can cause is infinite death straight death finish and uh, even the family also gets affected absolutely everybody everything, around everything. the person your, your attitude changes character changes your habits changes your finance will face a heavy downfall okay. your career anywhere you go it will you know try to insult you embarrass you because Correct. you will do weird things you have not done before because Correct. it has taken over your body in that way people will not like you right so it, it will create all kind of shame failure in every uh, in and any, you get into addiction. addictions addictions correct that's one very thing. very uh, addictions to death literally like you know you do things you may be a social drinker or things like that but when you are influenced by negative energy you drink so much in excess correct. you get into habits you get into drugs you get into so many things that are not good and which you can't reverse mm-hmm. or which mm-hmm. is very difficult to reverse correct and i've also had cases where you can see the face the preta chaya is literally seen on the face mm-hmm. like some dark kind of uh, or you know, shadow on the face and yeah usually the victims from my experience is they will have a very uh, you know angry face aggressive face every time and then they'll have a big dark eye eye bottom you know i think they call correct. it back no correct and then they'll put on a lot of weight either they'll put on a lot of weight without eating or they'll become very thin even though they eat like a glutton so correct. the physical appearance everything changes Change, metabolism yeah. changes uh, they become very devilish so some people have the negative energy in their gut and that is when it's very <clears throat> difficult to remove it so that's a different magic medicine ball ma- medicine ball mm-hmm. magic and then you really need to induce something to warm it and uh, Correct, purge correct, it out of correct, the body correct, correct, correct. so that is why I, i suggest that you know even sim- like i've made so many videos on black magic so you can probably watch that and even in the initial phase if you are able to control it with the vara 
Maha Talisman or the Mahakali Talisman, it can really do wonders for you. Correct. And uh, you can pre uh, you can prevent a lot of damage from happening. Absolutely. You can prevent the energy from growing within you. Correct. Otherwise, it keeps feeding on uh, itself and uh, it grows. Correct. Like correct. you know, yeah, it I mean, I mean consumes your energy. Correct. And the people you know does not necessarily have somebody in their family possessed to buy a Varaha talisman Correct. as a preventive measure they can buy it Correct. not just to stop the negative energy and also to attract luck and positive energy that is one biggest benefit of it yeah. you know I need not buy it only for you know uh, Correct. for Correct. Uh, what do I say uh, exorcism Correct. Correct. <laughs> right? I can buy it for, to increase my luck factor also because yeah. Varaha Swami you know the full Purana I read and then uh, how the Tantric you know talismans are made and what are the benefits <laughs> So, what I found is that, you know, uh, removal of negative energy, black magic, drishtis, and inducing a lot of positive energies, luck, and sometimes wealth also. Luck means what? Obviously wealth. So, yeah, it, it's yeah. all-rounder. It is also an all-rounder. And also. also, I feel if you're somebody who's well noted in the <coughs> family circles or friend circle, and somebody who attracts a lot of drishti, and if you, and you know, if you're suddenly gaining popularity, then you are one person who is very vulnerable to black magic Correct. because drishti and people will be jealous of you and they cast their evil eye and people who lose lives yeah i mean just to gain popularity don't get into that state so as a preventive note you can always have this as a protection so that you don't really become vulnerable to uh, th those future uh, uh, yeah. evil, evil eyes and uh, so like all actresses and <coughs> sportsmen and uh, you know people who are in the popular public space i always recommend them just have it as a preventive measure so that you don't get into problems. So, Varaha Talisman is one such uh, very talisman. Powerful. Very powerful. So, um, thank you Swati. I sure. mean, for your time because uh, I had already booked Swati for <laughs> a lot of videos. One is on karma, one is on this black magic and other things and then of course the talismans. So, we have done a series of videos on the talismans itself now. This is the concluding video and uh, after this, maybe sometime in future uh, we can talk about some of the pujas also which you had uh, subscribe for and which gave you some results. Happy, happy to share. Yeah, yeah. great. Thank you. Thank sure. you so much. Thank you too. Namaste. Namaste.